glad you brought that up because of one of my passions with Audubon today is talking to the public about the importance of combating climate change. And when I talk to the, the, the ch my chapter about this, I find a, a lot of reticence to talk. And people say that they're interested, they're passionate about the, the future of the planet, but uh, they're, they're uh, not willing to speak, to say anything, maybe because they think it's a risk that they're, they're jeopardizing their, their um, reputation or something. What advice can you uh, give us about talking to the public about climate change? Well, it, and it's a difficult subject, and it's one we're all working on. And climate change is such a huge subject, and climate change talks about changes in environmental conditions over a thousand years, and the sea level rising three centimeters. That's hard for people to grab onto. And if you tell me that the climate is getting two degrees warmer in the next 20 years, you know, in, in the summertime, I can't tell the difference between 84 and 87. That doesn't mean anything to me. You, you, people have to connect to the basic issue and what is, the, what is driving it. And the best evidence we have today, the best scientific fact gathering we have today, says that human actions, primarily in the use of fossil fuels, is driving this problem. And so we have to connect to that. We have to break it into pieces small enough for people to be able to digest and do something with. I mean, if you ask me to deal with climate change and rising sea levels, I can't do that. But if you tell me to deal with how climate change is affecting the bird population in the Rocky River important bird area, I can see that. I can connect to that. That's something I can grab onto and work. So it's breaking it into manageable pieces. Stan, in trying to connect the concept of climate change with habitat, couldn't we say that the eradication of the rainforest in South America, Ecuador, Venezuela, Colombia, is having a direct impact on the migration uh, capabilities of songbirds that we enjoy seeing here in North America? Well, certainly destruction of habitat in South America is where these migrants winter, so their winter homes are being destroyed. What's as important is migratory stopover habitat along the way. When a bird flies from Venezuela to McGee Marsh, they have to stop along the way and they need food and they need protection, they need shelter. So it's habitat all along the way. Certainly destruction of habitat in the winter grounds is key to these bird populations. More so, most times, than habitat destruction up here in North America, because in North America, the birds fan out and live over a wide area. Down in South America, they funnel into a small area. Mm -hmm. So if you destroy a thousand hectares in Venezuela, or you destroy 400 acres in North America, the land destruction is the same, the effect on the birds is huge. Certainly with climate change, if rainforest habitat is gone and trees and plants aren't there, there's, that's one way that carbon is removed from the atmosphere. Plants, trees, anything green, any, any plant material draws carbon dioxide out, out of the air. If those plants are gone, there's fewer scrubbers out there helping us. So and as a result, yes. carbon dioxide remains in the yes. air. And we have extreme weather events, melting of the polar ice cap, right? So everything, all these events are connected. Oh, everything's connected. And certainly, when you hear that the ocean levels may rise three centimeters, that's connected to so many different things. It's not just connected to Miami being underwater, it's connected to changes in rainfall, changes in dramatic storms. With birds, it's changes in their range. Birds that used to live in a certain area, if the temperature changes, will move north or south, or their range will be constricted, or birds are going to be forced to live in areas where other birds are now. There's just the whole ecological system, no matter whether it's climate change or pollution or anything, everything is so bound together, many times in ways we don't fully understand today, mm -hmm. that when things start going wrong, unfortunately, many times we'll just see the results 30 years later where the problem was actually 30 years before. Well, Stan, if, when we're speaking to audiences, particularly denier audiences, those who aren't going to 
enter into this conversation, uh, what is, is there one single scientific fact that is, say, overarching over all others that we could s talk about that is undeniable? Probably not. And, and the, only, the thing that hit my mind when you said that, because this is science, it's an evolving theory, that we're collecting a lot of information and almost all of it is pointing towards climate change being an issue. The bottom line for me is, many times, even though this is so complex and difficult to get a hold of, if we say that the unrestricted release of carbon dioxide into the air, whether it's from cars or factories or uh, electrical plants burning coal, all the stuff we're doing, I believe the evidence shows that is affecting climate change. Even at some point we find out that it's not, and I don't believe that's going to be the case. Those things going in the air, I don't want my grandchildren breathing anyway. It just So either way, and another point is here in Ohio, Ohio generates so much of its electricity from coal. Certainly that CO2 goes in the atmosphere and makes problems. But what people don't realize is after the CO2 goes in the air, the sulfur and the other components of that coal burning drop into Lake Erie. That's not healthy either. So again, climate change is connected with other environmental problems. And so we have to deal, it, deal with it from many different ways. The biggest thing I would say to anyone watching this video is get involved. Do something. Get educated. And there's so many organizations. If you, want to, if you care about birds, if you care about the environment, there's Audubon chapters. But there's so many ways to help. Sitting at home doing nothing does not help. Ladies and gentlemen, Stan and I have covered a lot of ground here in, in this brief talk. Uh, we started with the important Bird Area Project in the Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society and finished off with climate change. But as Stan said, all these issues are connected. And, and we hope that you'll get involved uh, to help, help us save the environment for, for the future of mankind. Thanks very much for listening. <laughs>